Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com. And a few weeks ago, in an episode of the Automation Podcast, we discussed all the new features that are in CCW version 11, uh, you know, based on the release notes for that product. But I recently came across a new web page over at Rockwell's website that has even more good information in it. So let's go to, um, what I'm going to do is, because the URL is so long and full of weird numbers, that I actually created a shortcut for you. Just go to theautomationschool.com and do a forward slash CCW11, and that'll take you to this page, which has great information on it. It's just not a very friendly URL to hand out to people. And once you're there, what you'll see is if you scroll down, you will see not only do you have links here to download the software and the sample code, they're two different downloads, but you'll also see some literature. And the one that I want to talk about today is a software guide for people who use Studio 5000 Logics Designer or RS Logics 5000. So let's go ahead and grab that. And as I was going through here, there were just some some great things. I've been using uh, RS Logics 5000 and Studio 5000 since they came out. So I'm used to the nomenclatures used in this software. And uh, you know, the Micro 800, when I started teaching courses on this, you know, it was a little struggle to kind of understand all the differences. So if you're in the same boat, you can see here this chart in this document compares, hey, what does it mean when you say accept changes in CCW? Well, that means accept edits, or that would be equal to accept edits in Studio 5000. And um, there's just a, you, you know, a nice list of stuff here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause the video right now. But I just thought this was extremely helpful. Now, that's not the only thing in here. There's other good stuff in here. Um, that's that same list uh, reversed, if you want to look at it the other way. Um, they talk about how do you go online with the controller for the first time. You click on Discover. You know, they talk about um, uploading and downloading and saving the project. And how do you save the project as a single file that you can easily give to somebody else? You know, with RS Logix and Studio 5000, it's an ACD. You just send it to your friends, right? Or your colleagues or whoever. But, um... In, in CCW, it's not so intuitive, and they walk through how you can do that and save an archive file so you have just one file to share with other people. Um, they also talk about, you know, should you do a download with project values or not? And this is very important because you do want to do it with project values. Um, you can read this here. Again, if you want to uh, pause the screen, you can read all the details here. But, um, yeah, you're typically going to want to download with project values. Um, and then just a lot of other good information, you know, how do you do an online edit if you have the software that is capable of that? Um, if you have the free software, it doesn't have that. How to set passwords, which I don't know. <laughs> don't suggest doing it until you're done. And don't lose your password. But just a lot of good stuff in this document, which we got. It's called the Connect the Components Workbench Software Guide for Studio 5000 Logics Designer Software Users. Yes, it's a mouthful. But um, we got it from that page over here at Rockwell Automation. And again, the way to get to that, the easiest way to get to that, is just to go to theautomationschool.com and type in a forward slash CCW11, and that'll take you right there. And I hope you find it helpful. I thought that stuff was very helpful myself. And with that, that's the end of this video. Now, if you know anybody who would like to learn all about the Micro 800, like how to program it, set up analog values, connect VFDs to it, even program a PanelView 800, check out my Nano Basics Extended Edition course over at theautomationschool.com. It's only $99. And if you don't need the advanced lessons, you can take the course for just $50. Now, with that said, if you have any questions for me, feel free to post them over on my free forum, theautomationforums.com, which I try to check every single day to answer questions. And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.